Good morning to you on this Tuesday morning. We continue our consideration of Proverbs chapter 27. Today we're reading from verse 18. He who tends the fig tree will eat its fruit, and he who cares for his master will be honoured. As in water face reflects face, so the heart of man reflects man. Sheol and Abaddon are never satisfied, nor are the eyes of man ever satisfied. The crucible is for silver, the furnace for gold, and each is tested by the praise accorded him. So here we have again some very timely reminders. He who tends the fig tree will eat its fruit, and he who cares for his master will be honoured. We need to be diligent in our work, we need to be diligent in maintaining things. If we look after things, if we work hard, we will eat the fruit of our labours. If we let things go, if we're lazy, then we cannot expect to get any fruit. As in water face reflects face, so the heart of man reflects man. Our heart reflects what is inside of us, whether it's good or bad. Remember, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What do we reflect? Do we reflect the Lord Jesus Christ who abides in our hearts? Or do we reflect the world? Sheol and Abaddon are never satisfied, nor are the man, eyes of man ever satisfied. We are always desiring more and more and more. We must be careful what we look upon, what we desire. The crucible is for silver, the furnace for gold, and each is tested by the praise accorded to him. We are tested by the praise accorded to us. What do people say about us? What witness do we bear? Remember, if you get a bad name, a bad reputation, you'll never live it down. We must always work hard to have a good reputation. And if we do receive praise and honour, then the test is what do we do with it? Do we get puffed up and prideful and then come crashing down? Or do we do the right thing and when somebody praises us, do we immediately give the honour to God? realizing that any good that we do was simply him working through us so we should not take any honor for ourselves because it's always god's glory he is the one who works in and through us so if we are praised for something the praise ultimately goes to god let's be humble in all of our doings let's be diligent in our work and let's be careful where we place our eyes and what we desire May we desire to live a life that honours and pleases God in every single way. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you for this new day. We thank you, Lord, that we can begin each day with your word. Your word is truth. Your word is living and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword. It cuts deep. It divides and cuts away all the rubbish. Thank you for that. Forgive us our foolish pride. Forgive us for the times that we have taken honour upon ourselves that is really yours. Lord, we give you all the glory, the honour and the praise. If any good comes of us or through us, we know it's because of you. So we thank you, Lord. We bless you. We ask your blessing over this day. We pray for our leaders and all who are in government. We pray that you would give them wisdom and help them to serve justly and to do the right thing. We commit to you, Lord, the sick, the dying, and all who are in need. We commit to you those who mourn. We commit to you, Lord, those who are depressed, those who are feeling oppressed. We ask, Lord, that you would lay your hand upon them. We pray, Lord, for the souls that do not know you yet. We ask that this would be the day they open their hearts to you. Pour out your Holy Spirit. Lord, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on each one of us. Fill us in you. May we Live a life that reflects you, Lord Jesus, that reflects the fact that you live in our hearts. You said men shall know that you are my disciples by the love that you have for one another. Increase our love, increase our faith. Help us to walk in your ways and in your truth. Lord, we just ask that you would take us by the hand, that you would lead and guide us. We thank you so much for your provision. We thank you that we lack nothing, that we can say along with David, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Thank you for that. Bless you, Lord. We praise you. We ask now that you would hear us as we join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.